Hey guys, I'm back again filming another video from the Lord of the Rings trilogy and this time it's The Two Towers by J.R.R. Tolkien. So, as I always start, we'll go through the book. So, to start, the book doesn't have a prelude, which is quite interesting, but it's not like the book needed the prelude anyway because the previous two preludes or prefaces uh, that always were in the start of the book weren't very necessary as they were explained in The Hobbit and The Fellowship. So all about how the book was made, how the series was made, the ideas from it, and yeah. So, now I'll go on to read the blurb. Continuing the epic tale begun in The Fellowship of the Ring. The Fellowship is scattered. Some prepare for war against the, the Dark Lord. Some fight against the treachery of the corrupt wizard Sauron. Only Frodo and Sam are left to take the accursed ring to be destroyed in the fires of Mount Doom. Mount Doom lies in the very heart of the Dark Lord's realm. The only guide in this perilous journey is Gollum, a deceitful and obsessive creature who once possessed the ring and longs to wield its power once again. As dark forces assemble, the fate of the Middle Earth rests with two lonely hobbits. But is Gollum leading them to their deaths? So, this is a quite an interesting book, as it's right in between the first book and the last book. So, most of the most interesting parts are in this book. So, on in terms of my opinion of the book, I think this is brilliant because when people are writing trilogies, the standards start to drop when it comes to around the middle book. But this is really good because the consistency between how detailed and how empowering the story is just flows through the whole book and the whole trilogy itself, really. And I've read like long book series, like for example, the Harry Potter book series. Um, and I've read similar types of books like that. And what happens is the first book, brilliant. Second book, great. And then slowly by slowly, they start to get less interesting, more detailed as if the writer is losing ideas. And I love how consistent the trilogy is um, in terms of the middle book as well, which is quite impressive. So, yeah, I really like this book. Um, it's laid out similarly to the other books, but it's not as big as The Fellowship of the Ring. It's a thinner book, a smaller book. Um, yeah, this book is really great. Uh, the Sunday Telegraph said, Among the greatest works of imagi imaginative fiction of the 20th century, a story magnificently told with every kind of colour and movement and greatness by the new statesman. So I would agree with those as well. This is really impressive and to find books like these, good quality books, they aren't always um, they aren't always easy to find because what was I gonna say? Yeah, they aren't always easy to find because one in a million to find a great book like a Harry Potter series like a whole series which I've done uh, the one of us is line series which is a video that I'll be doing shortly and posting after this series so um, yeah I'm really impressed um, wish Mr. Tolkien was alive to um, like see how successful his book was in the present now but yeah and I think yeah I think you guys should all go out and read this um start with the hobbit then move on to the fellowship my previous video um then move on to this one and then the return of the king because I've showed you in every series that's it I have the whole book set and the return of the king will be my next video so, here comes my rating, 5 out of 5.
consistent, explosive, imaginative, absolutely brilliant. Suppose I can't really mark down one book in the series if I gave the whole series a 5 out of 5, but it's just so good to point out the key aspects of each book because they're all so brilliant, so unique, so imaginative, and I think if all authors were like this, more people would be reading. Um, yeah. If everyone wrote this kind of quality writing, it wouldn't be more playing games. Um, suppose it'd be hard to stop the younger generation from doing that, including myself. But, um, I feel like reading is like, ugh, it's almost like a chore to some people. And it shouldn't be like that. So, 5 out of 5 rating. You guys should go and get this. You can get it in all bookstores, or most bookstores, if not online, WH Smith, Amazon, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, if you like the video, hit the notification bell to see the last book in the series. And remember, the cover is not the book. Okay, bye.